there's so many types of samples that you could sample from. Like you literally nowadays can sample from pretty much anything. But let's say you're a beginner or let's say you're someone who just digs for samples and don't really know what type of samples to dig for, what genres to dig for, or just what styles work best when making boom bap beats. In today's video, I'm gonna show you my top three genre styles that I like to sample or like to look for or listen to when it comes to sampling and making boom bap style beats. Now this isn't limited to just these three genres. These are just my three favorite that I like to sample from. Let's get into the video. Music producers, what's up? And welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. If you're new to the channel, I'm a music producer of over 15 years. And on my channel here, I show producers how to make some of the best boom bap hip hop style beats. Sampling, digging for samples, looking for samples can really be just uh, mind blowing sometimes, or it can just be uh, a stress, or it can just be easy to you. Of course, for me over the years, I've been doing this for over 15 years, so now it is kind of like a second nature to me where I can pretty much find samples from really anywhere. But I know a lot of you that watch my channel and a lot of you that watch my videos are new beginners, you're, you're beginners, or you're not a beginner, but you're trying to step over into the sampling world and you're trying to, you're really trying to figure out how do I really become a master at this sampling thing? Well, to make things easier, I'm gonna tell you my three favorite genres to sample from. Now, when you're going to find samples, or you're looking for samples, or say you go to the record store and you're looking through the dollar bin, or you're just going through and you just see all the little signs that are around the store, it, sh it shows you this right here. There's electronic, there's rock, there's blues, there's children's music, there's classical, country, easy listening, there's folk. But there's three of them that I really, truly love. And the first one is gonna be rock. And yes, I'm gonna explain to you why. Back when I was really trying to get into the sampling thing and the people that I was listening to, Dilla, Needles, Black Milk, Just Blaze, these people were sampling rock records and they were chopping them up a certain way and putting these certain type of drums to them and i'm like oof that sound that style that's what i want to make now of course i don't always make that style or i don't emulate those style of producers all the time so i did a lot of digging trying to find progressive rock psychedelic rock things like that because there's so many different genres within certain genres right so here we are on tracklib.com shout out to tracklib i do use them to search for samples, get samples. There's a lot of great samples on here. If I go into the rock category here and I, I look in here and in subgenres right here, you can see there's so many different ones. There's alternative rock, there's black metal, blues rock, Chinese metal, Chinese rock, and so on. Like I said, I like progressive rock. I like psychedelic rock, things like that. So in here, I can just hit psychedelic rock. And for me, I remember digging for records. So I kind of know like, hmm, anything can be sampled, of course. But in Tracklib, the best thing that you can do is change the year. So we'll set the release year and we'll bring it back. We won't go anywhere past the 80s. Give me up to like 79. And it'll give me everything from 1952 to 1979 um, because we do know that in the 80s they started getting a little bit electronic a lot more digital as well so we're looking at you know rock songs and you can go through all of these songs here this isn't a video about track lib this is just basically showing you and teaching you about these specific genres the time frames of when to sample them and things like that now the second genre that i really love to sample is jazz jazz i really love jazz because coming up tribe called quest you know people like that far side de la soul they all were sampling jazz records and it was just a specific sound that it created you know what i mean when you have the upright bass just going crazy it was so just lush that's the only way that i could describe it for myself so same thing for jazz music like things have started being released back into the 1928 as far as track lib has probably times before that so we'll kind of bring it down and we'll start at maybe the 60s and then we'll bring it up to about the 80s as far as jazz goes so when you're going to dig for samples you want to always think about the actual date the year that they came out because that'll make a big difference in the type of samples Music producers, are you struggling with making better beats? You make a beat and it's just stuck in the loop and you just don't know what to do? Listen, head over to boombapuniversity.com to grab up the Cooking That Boom Bap Masterclass. In this course, I'm showing you literally how to chop samples, how to make better drum patterns, 
how to get those drums to knock because I'm teaching you how to mix too. And like I said, I'm gonna teach you how to arrange that beat from that loop or that eight bar loop that you have, turn it into a full beat so that you can give it to someone so they can rap on it, they can sing on it, or you wanna put it on a beat tape. Either way, I'm gonna show you exactly the full process on how I make my beats, how I find samples, how I make my drums knock in one two hour course. Cooking that Boom Bap Masterclass, head over to boombapuniversity.com and pick up that course. Let's get back into the video. Now my third genre, one of my favorite genres to sample is soul records. I picked up the soul records, obviously from Dilla, Ninth Wonder, people like that. The style of beats that they were creating with these soul records just blew my mind. And I knew that I wanted to create that same style. You know what I mean? Even though I wanted to do the whole live drum like Just Blaze and, you know, using those rock records and chopping them up, I knew that I also wanted to touch that soulful side too. And Kanye West did a lot of sampling of soul records. Black Milk did a lot of sampling of soul records. There's a lot of producers that I listen to that sampled soul records. I know what I can create from jazz records and I know what I can create from soul. So knowing that, I know the type of sound that I'm gonna get from the specific type of sample that I choose, the specific genre and the specific time as well. When it comes to soulful records, I usually try to go for years uh, same as the as the rock. I probably, I usually go from 60 to about the 80s. I don't go too far into the 80s. I think the furthest that I would go is 1982. Same thing with the other genres is at a specific time, just those instruments, they started changing from live and they became keyboard instruments, you know, electronic drum machines and things like that. So the sounds weren't, you know, all the best, you know, they had a lot of extraness on them. You know, they weren't simple as the years prior. So that's it for today's video. I hope that this inspires somebody to go create. I hope that my viewing or what I showed you today or the genres that I like to sample helped you or shed light on another genre or different genres that you could possibly sample, all right? If you liked the video today and you got some valuable information from today's video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well just so you don't miss any more videos after today and uh be sure to follow me on instagram at they call me heat i'm gonna get up out of here and until next time peace